Okay, Gary's Tours fans. Here's a place you can sit. This is One Penn Plaza. It's above Penn Station. Very few places to sit in New York City. So prepare accordingly. If you're going on tours and walking around, there's very few park benches to sit on. They're few and far between. Usually you have to find a Starbucks or something. Even Starbucks is getting light on chairs. So if you, when you come to New York, make sure you get in good shape before you come. Make sure you can stand for six hours. You might have to occasionally. Uh, I'm, last time I was in Paris, I walked 12 miles and stood all day. Another beautiful day. We're now heading toward the edge. This is the start of our edge video. Gary's Tours fans, here's our next destination. That's a place called the Edge. You can look at the, the you can look go up there and look down 102 stories below where you're standing. And if the glass broke, you'd probably come to grief. As we back out. Gary's tour fans, there's our next stop, a place called The Edge. It's 102 stories in the air. That glass light you see shining through, is it? you can look, stand on that and look down, the glass broke, you'd probably come to grief. Really cool place. This is relatively new, it only opened in 2022. That's our next stop. It's the tour of the edge. Hope you enjoyed it. And remember to subscribe and like Gary's Tours. Go to our homepage, Gary's Tours, and you'll see lots of other tours, tours of Ireland, France, and colonial American places, and places to dine in the United States. Hey, Gary's Tour fans. We're now a block away from the edge. There's the edge up there. That's it. That's our destination. That's where we're going this afternoon to tell you about what it's like to be on the edge. Be on the edge of life and death. Probably very exciting. We're now approaching 10th Avenue. It's another Citibank terminal. Get your bikes. Try and figure out how much it costs. I think I heard about 150 a month. It's the uh, Times Warner Discovery Building. It used to be the Times Warner Building. It's built, well, it used to be called a yard of some sort for the uh, MTA. This is 30 Hudson's Yards. the edge. Edge of life and death. Edge straight ahead. 
Well, unfortunately, they're not going to make us take the stairs to go up there. 100 flights, that'd be a lot. Let's see where we go to get to the edge. Sort of an indoor mall. Very cool. Lots of stores. Tiffany. Tiffany has lots of stores all over the place now. Only two security guards in that store. Cartier. So before you can go to the edge, you have to walk past all the stores. It's apparently designed that way. Very, very good marketing, I'd right? say. Piaget, watches and jewelry. Let's see where the edge is now. The edge is this way. level five. Are we on level five? Probably not. Right, level four is the edge. Take the elevators to the edge, I guess. To level four and five. How cool is that? Nice advertising. Food. Clams on the hat show or oysters. Lots of old uh, escalators. Piaget. stores. Mm -hmm. The city pass? City pass, no reservation? Uh, I didn't ask for any. Yeah. You just have to go to this machine and just go past reservation and come right back. Thank you. We have to stop the video because I need my phone to get out my reservation. Now we're inside the edge. We're walking down the scary hallway with even more scary music to go somewhere to the edge. The edge of existence. This place is also designed for massive crowds. I think it would at the right time on a Thursday when there's no one around. I have a feeling on weekends, this place might be bonkers. Or cities in the future. Blank slate. Really futuristic and cool. Very interesting place. Am I in the right place? Yes, I am. You mean we don't have to walk up? Okay. I 
That sounds good to me. We wanted to do something bold. Yes. Something that would make sure that New York stays the greatest city in the world. Tens of thousands of skilled men and women. Great video displays all these sites have. That's it shows that we can build great things when we work together. <laughs> Well, we here we are at level 100, and we're looking out at the 100th story. We're going to go outside to the edge momentarily. Sounds like this is a gift shop, of course. Marketing, marketing, marketing. The marketing has gotten, it seems, more intense with every passing year. Absolutely amazing. <clears throat> now we're on the edge, a platform that sticks out with nothing below us to support us, except several steel girders. And we're looking down with a window that's angled down. That's a hundred flights down. That's probably, since most flights about 10 feet. So that would be a hundred times 10. So we're about a thousand feet up in the air. There's the Chrysler building over there. You can tell the silver top. Absolutely beautiful. Love to have an apartment right here. I think it'd really be cool. Everyone would want to come hang out with me, I think. Now we're gonna be looking south into the sun a little bit. And looking at One World Trade Center and the buildings cars going south. Absolutely beautiful and amazing. What a cool city. There's, once again, we have Jersey City and the towers there. One of those towers that I believe is the Goldman Sachs Tower. And there's Lower Manhattan and Wall Street. It's the buildings, it's the One World Tower. There's the buildings of Let's take a look down. <clears throat> what would happen if the glass broke while we walk on it? You'd probably be very bad. You'd probably get hurt if the glass broke. What do you think? How many people want to risk their life when you walk on the glass? Let's go together. Huh? <laughs> we'll die together. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it would be a long way down, I think. But it'd be quick. It would, well, it's a sudden stop. Stop the kills, yeah. It's wow. a sudden stop that hurts. This is the Time Warner Discovery Building, or Discovery Time Warner, whichever you want to call it. And this is a view over toward New Jersey. Everyone's taking selfies. slowly it seems the cars are moving from this height. I've always been amazed by that. The 
puts it in perspective. Puts in perspective how really small we are too. Cool buildings down there. Look at the buildings with gardens on the roof. A lot of them have gardens on the roof. I think that's pretty cool too. How many people live down there? But you're looking at the Tribeca Chelsea section, looking south. Tribeca and Chelsea is between this point and the Wall Street area. Great place to live and work. Walking over here, I met a gentleman with a suit and tie and a briefcase in one hand. I said, don't see many people dressed like you anymore, I bet I know what you do. And I said, you must be a lawyer. And I said, so was I for about 50 years. He liked that. It's absolutely a beautiful day up here. Might be worth some. Right now, I'm going to turn off the video and try to get a suntan up here. Since we're on 100 stories up, I'm a lot closer to the sun. Might be stronger up here, one never knows. No. Gary's tour friends, here we are with the Edge Bar. And to celebrate that, we're having a Guinness Draft. One of my favorite beers. That's what I drink these days at night, I love it. And we're looking out over the northern end of Manhattan. We're looking north on Manhattan. And we can see that we're one of the tallest, we're about the, one of the tallest building in sight right now. Most of them are sure than us. I still think that penthouse building over there between those two people looks really cool to me. We're looking up north toward the George Washington Bridge, which you can see from here. A little foggy or smoggier than I would like, but that's okay too. Just thought you'd like to see that. We're getting close to the end of the tour of this uh, edge facility. Remember to subscribe and like Gary's Tours. And we publish a tour every Friday at the early hours of the morning. And we publish extra tours during the weekends. So you should get two tours a week. And this, if you haven't been to the Edge, it's definitely a worthwhile place to come to. Now I'm gonna enjoy my Guinness because I'm going to Ireland for five weeks. I wanna get used to drinking Guinness. Have a pleasant afternoon.